one more question at the very end to make a landing page for a software as a service product. So it looks, it's starting off with the same kind of, yeah, it's not doing a good job. It's not doing a very good job of creating me something different. It seems like whatever model that it has, whatever template that it has in the back of its mind, uh, it looks like the pricing section is different. Yeah. What if I said... Can you make it more colorful? Can you shoot? Can you make the theme blue? Let's see what it does. So yeah, it's like it's like it's doing everything over again, which I'm not a fan of. It could have just messed with the CSS. So it doesn't seem that smart, but it is doing what I'm saying. Yeah, it's a good starting point. Huh, I definitely foresee a future where we don't have to do any of this by hand or we can start with this if you guys don't know me my name is Romy Pruitt I'm a software engineer at Fang Company and today we're reacting to the new Versus new UI library for or AI prompt to create UI libraries and so I've heard a lot of good things about it it's automating a part if you guys don't know back in the day you had to be a CSS master in order to create buttons beautiful buttons and component libraries or you could have used something like Tailwind CSS Bootstrap. But now with this, it seems like it's gonna be a lot easier to make custom UI templates. So generate UIs. Let me take that off. Let's play around with it and see what we can give. I'm gonna say generate a, uh, I want a component library that is for sports generate a button based upon sports uh, i don't even know how to spell based <laughs> based upon sports themes just the page just to make sure it's not something it didn't get stuck because this is just a bad experience so i refreshed the page and now it's doing its thing Huh. I'd say these buttons are not all that cool. Football, basketball, baseball. Okay. Click the close. Yeah, I feel like I could have made this myself to be honest. But it did generate the code and it's in TypeScript. Um, let's try something else. Uh, maybe can you make a sports header? Um, a sports nap bar that. It, um, it's themed for basketball. We'll give it something a little bit more specific. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. Interesting. That's pretty cool. I think it's look, I think there's a bug with a calendar here. I don't know if you guys can see this stuff. 
and it has errors. So I would say that my first thought is that it's buggy. And although this is good, it did come up with some interesting like emoticons um, too. I just don't like you. I don't know. Can you guys see this like calendar thing? Let me see if I can give you a close up. Like what's going on with this count? Oh, wow. Like, do you, do you see that? Like, it's already mobile friendly. That is cool. Even though the it looks like a mobile button, it's not working. <laughs> okay. So when I resize the page, oh man, that's a pain. Um, so yeah, looks like it, it's pretty good, but it's not that good. And what are they using? Are they using, it looks like they're using Tailwind CSS. Basketball home calendar react. Yeah. I think it's a cool product in theory. I'm not sure if I, I, I wouldn't mind using this. I would use this sparingly, maybe for some ideas. What else can I do? I wonder, it seems like this is an agent to me, like it's coming up with a plan and then getting something. How about, what else can I think about? Can you make a baseball form? Oh, they have a retry button. Huh. I was thinking like it was going to make some like. Uh, I wanted a baseball theme for. Yeah, I think. So that's what you're saying, guys. Like you, you see me. Um, I didn't ask the question specific enough, and so it, it gave me something that I didn't want. How about? Uh, themed form. Let's try that. Uh, it's green. I don't know if green is, 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 is next to players. It made one modal. Uh, and then it, what is with this library? I mean, this is, uh, you know, the calendar that keeps showing up. So yeah, not really feeling this form either. Yeah, but it's, I like that they have a retry. Let's see if we click the retry, we'll come up with something better. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of. My first thought is that I'm gonna go ahead and mark this. My first thought from this is that I'm a little bit underwhelmed with this. Like I was expecting something to be mind blowing, and this has been quite underwhelming. So, um, What I would have liked to see is that it would have made, I guess, emoticons. I guess it's not it's not a drawing app, right? Maybe I'm not understanding how to use it correctly, but I would say that it seems like these libraries, I can find templates online that were already just as good or maybe even better than this. So I don't know if I would actually use this in a side project. Uh, I'm really excited to see where it goes. I, I'm happy that Purcell did this and that we're thinking thinking more about this. I think when I first saw this, I, I, I found this from Fireship and he made it sound like it was mind blowing to have your own custom 
custom components, but from from me playing with it, the uh, whatever custom thing that they make from this is not it does not seem that usable. And so not to what is it? Talk shit about Vercel. They have a lot of great products. I've heard a lot of great things, but I I can can say from what I saw, I probably would not use this just yet, but I'm really excited to go forward with it. So I'm gonna leave it up to the questions. Tell, tell us to add a gift or send an email also. Real question is, can you teach? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have a Dougie? <duggy. laughs> Somebody said, the real question is to add, teach you how to Dougie. So yeah, let's go back. We're gonna go back to it real quick and see if we can uh can you add a gift i think that's an excellent question um So it doesn't look, okay. It's adding a gift. What the, what type of gift is this? Oh, you guys are probably making fun of me because it's actually gift, not gift. I'm be calling it gift sometimes. Brother, don't make fun of me. <laughs> I wonder what's going on with my screen. It looks like there's, I see a line on my screen sometimes. I don't know what that's about. So yeah, there you go. We've seen it, look at a GIF. <laughs> We've seen the GIF. It is not funny, it is not a meme, it is not making me laugh, that is not cool. We can see it, that's cool. All right. So if you guys have any more things you want me to ask it, I'm laughing because the gif is jiffing, yeah. It is what it is, man. So I'm gonna end it. I'm not, imp- well, I guess it doesn't look like anybody has any more questions they wanna ask. So final thoughts, I wanna say, keep looking out for this tool. It could be really cool one day, but it's not there yet. The technology is not there. So, but I'm really happy to see what Vercel is doing. But on that, peace. All right, uh, somebody have.